Thank you for joining us on the news this hour. We'll begin in Kaduna State, where six persons have been killed and about 40 others abducted in Beningwari. Although the police and state government are yet to issue an official statement, Chairman of the Beningwari Emirates Progressives Union, Usman Kasai, disclosed that the attack took place between Wednesday and Thursday. Reports say the bandits targeted areas including farmlands and villages as residents are now living in fear after the attack which led to the abduction of 40 persons. And staying with security concerns, the Nigerian army says it stops killing its ability to gather intelligence while working with allied agencies in the renewed fight against insecurity. That's according to the Chief of Army Staff Major General Taurid Lagbaja at the graduation of the Strategic Management Study course in Abuja. There is a new military strategy in combating the evolving security challenges in Nigeria. The Army, in partnership with other security agencies, is leading an offensive in troubled spots in the country. In sustaining the renewed offensive, the Army is upscaling its grassroots intelligence gathering and partnerships. Especially those that live in the frontline communities where banditry, insurgency, kidnapping, and other violent crimes take place. So that receiving this information from them, we give the military the leverage to act and combat the violence. Intelligence is the driver of every military operation. The military has its own sources, and these sources are far flung sometimes, even into the rural area. So we require the support of all. This graduation of the Strategic Management Study course at the Army Resource Center is one of such collaborations the Army is forging with other military and paramilitary agencies. Yes, majority are military personnel, but we want to have a change in perspective as to what they can do to make the nation better and for us to be able to find solutions to our problem rather than waiting for people from outside. So we take them through policy, which is what government wants to do, which is a constraint. So they should understand that from the beginning. The policy of government is a constraint on them, but how will they now come up with strategy to drive the policy objectives? Each expert brings something to the table uh, based on his knowledge and experience. And this is exactly the same within the security sector. Uh, so the security sector is designed in such a way that uh, no security agency can effectively and efficiently deal with uh, security challenges without the collaboration of other uh, members of the sector. 31 participants are graduating from the 11-month course. The goal is to encourage jointness in operations among the security agencies. To recent efforts to tackle immigration challenges in the country, Controller General of the Nigerian Immigration Service, Carolina Adepoju, has re-emphasized the need for collaborative efforts to ensure the country's borders are safe. The Controller General spoke when she paid a working visit to the command posts in Akwaibam. Joseph Kunde reports. Akoibo, an oil-producing state in the Niger Delta, annexes about 16 riverine communities with Cameroon. Thus, plays a critical role in Nigeria's immigration landscape. Perhaps it may be the reason the Controller General of Immigration embarks on her median visits to the state as the searchlight beams on safeguarding the nation's borders. Akoibo State houses one of our longest coastal uh, border you know, this and um, we are working hard to ensure like we have done in other areas like our air border and land border we want to tighten the security around here we don't want people of um, shady characters to perpetrate nefarious activities using our blue borders it shows that she's truly a mother a woman of compassion. In fact, she's just an Amazon. I feel so encouraged. I'm so proud that she came to see and that is, you know, a means of motivation 
that will spur me to do more. The uniqueness of the territorial borderline means an inspection visit to the various command posts in the state and the capabilities of the officers as well. We have the personnel, we are well trained in marine border management, but we need good working materials. You can see the environment here. The Nigerian Immigration Service once tried to make it, to do to construct this jetty that you can see here. But from the look of things, it is capital intensive and we will need the intervention of the government and other stakeholders to enable us work effectively. The visit of the Comptroller General of Immigration signifies a renewed focus on collaboration and operational excellence. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Uyo.